Hey, how's it going everyone? Hope you're all doing well. Hope you had the best Memorial Day weekend you could, considering the circumstances. So today I wanted to talk to you about why I chose the 11 inch iPad Pro over the 12.9 inch. I noticed there are a ton of people agonizing over which size iPad Pro to buy. Plenty of YouTube videos on the subject and comments sections full of debates on the matter. Uh, the fact is that there's really no one right answer, only the right answer for you in particular. As cliche as it may sound, the display size you buy all depends on exactly how you plan to use the device. I myself was back and forth for a while before I decided to go with the 11 inch iPad Pro and I wasn't able to make my decision till I visited my local micro center to see them both in person for myself. I'm super glad that Micro Center has stayed open during the pandemic, so free shout out to them. So I held, typed on, wrote on, etc. both the 11 inch and 12.9 inch iPad Pro in store for about an hour trying to simulate the things I planned on doing with the iPad Pro. And what I found was this. One, if you mainly plan on using the iPad Pro for what it is, a tablet, the 12.9 inch defeats the purpose a little bit. So if you'll mostly be using touch interaction on it instead of leaving it on a keyboard stand, you'll quickly notice how much easier it is to reach for things on the 11 inch and how much longer you can tolerate holding it in your hand. The 12.9 inch iPad Pro makes for some pretty immediate hand fatigue. So you're ready to put the tablet down or back on a stand within a minute or two. And I'm not the only one to say this. If you dig around on YouTube for some other videos on this dilemma, the 11 inch iPad Pro is significantly lighter and simply less tiring to hold without sacrificing any of the specs of the larger model. The 12.9 inch model is about 37% heavier than the 11 inch one. Typing. I don't mean with a keyboard attachment either, just touch screen typing with the tablet in your hand. When you turn the tablet to its portrait orientation, holding it with two hands to type with your thumbs. So for example, like so. You can do so with no problem on the 11 inch model. Here's what it's like to type on the iPad Pro, if I can spell Pro. So you get the picture. The point is that with the 12.9 inch variant, I noticed that I had to really stretch those thumbs to the point of taking one hand off the iPad to reach for some of those middle areas of the keyboard. It's just so much easier and more natural to do on the 11 inch model. So for me, it boiled down to this. I already have a laptop, a Surface Book, that I use as my main device, let's say. The iPad Pro is a companion device for me, one I plan to mostly hold as a tablet, either interacting through the touch display or with the Apple Pencil. So I didn't want it to be more tedious to hold or more difficult to reach for things while typing, for example. Now, if you either do not have a laptop or plan on using your iPad Pro to replace your laptop, that would mean you mostly plan on using this thing propped up on a stand or a keyboard case like this Magic Keyboard, for instance. If that's gonna be your use case, it would make sense to at least consider the 12.9 inch iPad Pro because you won't be dealing with its pitfalls as much. Instead, the iPad would be on its stand most of the time where you'd be using a trackpad or mouse to interact with it, only touching it occasionally. Now in that case, I personally just go with a laptop, but I totally understand wanting to use the iPad Pro instead. It's a tempting piece of tech and it's fun to use. But in the end, if your plans for the iPad Pro are at all similar to mine, i.e. mostly using it as a tablet, my advice would be to go with the 11 inch model. In exchange for a slightly smaller display, you're getting increased portability, increased comfort, the same exact power and capabilities, you're getting better aesthetics, quite frankly, and increased ease of use. And I haven't even mentioned that you'd save a few bucks, as I ended up splurging for the cellular model anyway, along with the Magic Keyboard and the Apple Pencil. Uh, obsession over display size has been a fad in tech for several years now. Heck, I bet if there was a 15 inch iPad Pro, some people would consider getting it just because the display is larger, regardless of all the things they'd be sacrificing for it that make a tablet a tablet in the first place. A bigger display is 
just not worth it in my opinion when it means you end up enjoying using the device a bit less overall. So from my use case and my full hour comparing the two in hand in store, you should only be considering the 12.9 inch model if it's going to be propped up on a stand or a keyboard cover most of the time. So that's all from me today. Let me know which iPad Pro size you'd get or did get and why. I'd be curious to read what you have to say. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.